in her lifetime, she had three, actually three different types of cancer, two of which she beat. Um, this last one uh, was a severe one. It wasn't much more than four months before when she was diagnosed when we lost her. Even with her cancer, um, she was very strong. She never gave up. She was loving. She loved her family a lot. She was caring for those around her. She just always seemed to be so happy. Like she really enjoyed life and everything. And she loved working hard and she loved playing hard, I guess. She could be a little strong-willed if things weren't going her way or going the way that she wanted to go for her children or her grandchildren. She always stood up for them. And it's always good to be positive no matter what, and she was always so positive about everything. Grammy went back to college to get her degree because when she was younger, she didn't have the opportunity to do that. I don't think the day goes by that something happens in my life that I think of Grammy, would, what would she have thought? You know, a person was a person to her, everyone had feelings, so she treated everyone equally and with a kind and warm heart. She also loved to cook. She was the greatest cook, whether it was breakfast, lunch, dinner, or dessert. She always had her Betty Crocker cookbook out. Every summer she took us on vacation, even though it was difficult being a single parent to afford to take my sister and I anywhere. And every year she took us to the beach in Maine. I just remember her always um, making up these grinders, but the grinders were so good. She had the best pickles and Italian dressing. It was always ham and cheese and lettuce and tomato. She used to do everything with us, like go on vacation. It was kind of like she was our second mom, so. It was, it was kind of nice to have her there doing everything with us, especially the fun things. Whenever we had to go somewhere and do something, Grammy would always be there with the camera. Remember when I was little, she taught me how to sew and she really enjoyed sewing and she always sewed all of my mom and my aunt's clothes when they were younger because they couldn't afford their own clothes. She really had a really infectious laugh. Um, she was always, you know, looking out, especially for her grandkids. And she was basically a second mom for us, kind of, you know, she was always there and if we ever needed anything, she would do it, no problem. Uh, when I was growing up, my mom kind of had to be the man of the house because she was a single parent, but my brother and I were never lacking because my grandmother was always around and it was definitely like we had two parents. I'll always remember how excited she was when I told her I got accepted to college. She was so, so enthused and it was when she was pretty sick, so she was like, she came alive and it was really cool. Her reaction really made me proud <laughs> and happy. I definitely ne I'll never forget that. I think she always wanted me to do my best, be myself. And she always made me strong-willed. She made me never give up on myself and to always work hard. And I feel as though those are the best things she could have given me. Anytime I needed something or I needed her opinion, or I didn't know how to do something, or if my kids were sick, I just picked up the phone, and, and she told me. One very positive thing that Grammy gave me, in a way, gave me life, because I have two wonderful children that I see a lot of Grammy in. You know, like today, when I was having, you know, um, issues with my stitches and my sweat and whatnot, my first thought was to call my mom. She'd tell me what to do. You know, I used to go out every Friday night with her. Not only was she my mom, but she was my best friend, and we went out every single Friday night, and I miss that. One thing I always do is I'm just always like, well, if nobody else talks to me, I'll go talk to Granny, because she always talks to me, and then I can't. She was there so much and such a big thing in her life, you can't really forget her, so. Sometimes you feel like you're gonna go in the kitchen and she's gonna be there. <laughs> I have a locket that I wear with me everywhere I go that has her picture and my picture in it. So she can never be too far away. 